In 1987, Gokor competed for the Judo International World Cup in Spain. After eight wins, Gokor made it to the finals against a strong competitor from France. Three minutes into the match, Gokor won by a full point, an Epon. met some very strong fighters from Brazil that trained in jiu-jitsu. They were so impressed by Gokor's skills, they invited him to train with them. To this day, they are all still good friends, exchanging techniques and visiting each other's schools. I've known him for the last 10 years in my States, and uh, his techniques uh, are very high level. I've, I've been training with my brothers for, since I'm five years old. Like, so for the last 20 years, I've been training jiu-jitsu. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and I was really impressed with his skills and the details of his techniques. It's also a pleasure to have him around. And I think he's, uh, he's, every time I see him, he looks to, to get wiser as a person, and uh, more calm, and uh, more insightful every time we speak. And I'm very happy to see him uh, growing as a human being. Uh, to be just as great as he is as a martial artist in, in his field. The United States Judo Federation helped Gokor acquire his U.S. citizenship in November 1987 to qualify for the U.S. Olympic team in 1988. Unfortunately, as a late citizen, Gokor did not have enough time to acquire the necessary points to compete in the Olympics. By 1989, Gokor had won four professional World No Holds Barred Championship titles. World Bare Knuckled No Rules Champion from Armenia, Gokor Shvichian! And was ready for a completely new challenge, marriage. Proving to be a worthy challenge, Gokor chose to retire undefeated as a professional fighter and instead dedicated himself to his wife, Noreen, and raising his first child, Arthur who was born on May 16, 1990. But fighting was in Gokor's blood, and the long-awaited Hayastan Grappling Academy opened in Hollywood, California in 1991. With his long history of winning championship titles and his unique fighting system, Gokor found his new school an instant success with hundreds of ambitious students. Gokor receives many invitations to fight in these competitions, but prefers his role as teacher to the champions. The Hayastan Grappling Academy has drawn students from around the world to train there, establishing a reputation in the fight community as the place to train for no-holds-barred fighting. From Australia, I traveled over specifically to train with Goko and Sensei Jin. And as I say in Australia, if you want to be the best, you have to train with the best. My name is Loden. I met Sensei Gokor at a clinic last year. And once I met him, I knew I had to come here for me to get to my best because without him, I can't reach my best because he is the best. My name is Kazu from Japan. 
and uh, I'm happy here to practice because uh, Goku has lots of techniques, you know, not only judo, sambo, jujutsu, you know, no whole sport. Now, now I only do judo, but uh, later I'm going to join, you know, some other, another, other class, you know, because, you know, some famous, you know, fighters, you know, professional wrestlers, you know, come to here to practice. I've been training in mixed martial arts since 1981. I've never encountered a more highly skilled grappler than Goker. I think that if you spend one year with Goker, your skills will improve more than if you spend several years with many other of the world's top martial artists. My name's George Tony. I'm the University of Southern California self-defense instructor. I've been teaching there for 14 years now, and I'm one of Gokor's students. I met Gokor about maybe four years ago and came to train at his academy, and uh, I've been an instructor for about 13 years at the time, and when I came, I was even humbled by the kids. I think uh, when I went home, I told my friends that my idol was 15. One of the 15-year-old kids tore me apart. So I knew I was in the right place to come and learn, and I've been learning grappling from Gokor since that time, and spend at least one or two days a week with him privately if I can. And so at, I'm now almost 36 years old, and I'm training to uh, go fight Pancrase for Gokor in Japan. And we're going to fight in the summer of 2001, hopefully with somebody in the top 10 in my weight class in Japan. And I'm very thankful to have a great instructor, and I call him friend um, in Gokor. And I hope that I'll be able to train with him for the rest of the time. We're, uh, if you're lucky enough to get to train with him, you'll understand what I mean. And I hope that uh, everybody that sees this understands what a great guy Gokor is. Besides being an excellent instructor, what a wonderful friend. And I would never have got these dreams if I didn't get to come to the highest stand academy. So it's been, a, it's been a lifelong dream for me. Thank you. Right from the beginning, Gokor students have gone forward to become champions in judo and no holds barred competitions, including extreme fighting, pancrase, and even in the ultimate fighting championship. With all this going on in his life, Gokor still found time to compete in and win the U.S. Judo Nationals in 1994. The only thing that could possibly eclipse his students' successes happened on July 17, 1996, with the birth of Gokor's second son, Gary. In January 1997, Gokor received a call to come out of retirement to fight another professional no-holds-barred world championship. His opponent was the 1996 no-holds-barred world champion from Japan. Mr. Maeda's record was over 200 wins and no defeats. Muscles. 240 pounds. He's lean and he's mean. 